I live uh, on the Axton Road, Ferndale, near Ferndale, Bellingham, Washington. Um, I'm 68 years old, and I was born and raised about, a, well, I was born and moved to the house I was raised in about 68 years ago. <laughs> and that's only a mile away from where I live now. Oh, my dad and mom always had a little farm. And then they had an egg farm on the on the first road, and then they moved to this larger egg farm or this larger chicken production farm uh, that's nearby where I live. There's nothing that's changed that dramatically in that space, and even to the east and west of that house, um, the a lot of the original buildings are still in place. Growing up here in Whatcom County, I always thought that um, it was a pretty healthy environment. There were a lot of people that I look back on now when I was growing up who had who were not selfish. And the reason I say that is they didn't think about them and their own family first. They thought about the community first. And they watched all the children. We, we had... We were free-range chickens. I had fun this last year. I grew lots of more vegetable than I could use, and somebody said take it to the food bank, and the food bank was overwhelmed. So I put a sign out front and made a table, and once a week we had God's table, and people came and got produce and wanted to know why I wasn't charging, and I said, because I don't want to babysit this. <laughs> I just want you to enjoy it. This is God's produce. This is the extra. My grandmother always called Mount Baker my mountain, she'd say. And I kind of feel that way, too. It's hard to be in a situation where I can't see it. Uh, of course, we have clouds. Uh, at least once a week or so, you know, get a good view of it. And we have several really good spots to sit and observe it. Stay active for as long as you can stay active. Don't sit down and stay sitting. Binge watching TV is a really bad thing. <laughs> Even reading for too long is a really bad thing. <laughs> I've had uh, people in my family who, who indulge too much in drink. Um, I learned early on not to do that. I had um, people in my family who uh, were sedentary. Um, and I learned early on, don't sit, no matter how bad, whatever hurts, just don't sit. You know, I have arthritis, got to keep moving all the time. When you've been physically very active, connected to preschoolers at the church, uh, not having those connections during this pandemic with younger people has taken its toll. And... Fifteen years ago, sixteen years ago, I was hit by a car in a crosswalk in Ferndale. And I went down and it took me, I went to 80 plus years old overnight. It took uh, more than three years to get back to where I'm at now. It made me brave to speak what's on my heart and what's my truth rather than couching it based on who, how the receiver is going to take it. The other thing is um, I don't fear the next stages. I don't fear um, the physical growing older, the mental growing older. I don't fear any longer. Those, um, uh, if I had fears, and I know that everybody does have some fears, they just went away. I did the um, the uh, advanced care um, paperwork. It's all filed with everybody, copies here, copies there, with my children, etc. Uh, and uh, that's just free. That's just one of the most freeing things you can do for yourself. And you feel not only that it frees you, but it frees your family. I think that's one of the best parts of aging is um, you get to a point where it's like it frees you up and you say, well, I can I I can take a risk. I can go and do these things because um, 
But it's why you see older people jumping out of airplanes, you know. <laughs> They're not afraid of what comes next. Older people need to recognize that younger people need to be playing a larger role. Mentor them well, teach them well, and then get out of the way. Because you're just seeing everything potentially with older eyes instead of what's the future. And... Um, so I, I really get upset with people who hang on to a position for too long and don't recognize that they need to relax and trust that they've built the correct um, thinking and modeling for a future 